Honest Danielle from Rosetta Vera. Today I am talking about the Jane Davenport water, watercolor set, um, the neutral pack. Um, so I'm trying to get my way through these items I bought from Spellbinders um, so I can give you my thoughts on all of them. So today we're talking about this watercolor set. Um, it's kind of like a travel set. It's kind of tiny. There are 12 colors in the 10, if I can get it out the box. There we go. Um, so you comes in this little 10. Let's measure that real quick. So roughly about four and a half inches wide, about two and a half inches tall. So, you know, something you can, you know, throw in your bag, throw in your pocket. It's pretty small and compact. So this is the neutral palette. It contains three primaries and then some specially selected colors. You have your little swatch card here. Um, so it looks like all the colors have names. The names kind of match what you would expect. Um, yeah, kind of match what you expect. I have to unwrap all the cakes and then activate them and then so let me do that and we'll get started with the swatches this that way and I have my little tray here just so I can clean off my brush as I am swatching I'm just gonna add some water so we can just keep things clean so I'm gonna start mm, let's see actually let me keep it this way because that's how the colors go. So we're going to start with mango. Then we have apple. We have blueberry. We have Dove. So, so far these are swatching really nicely. I have no complaints so far. Well, I have one complaint, but we'll talk about that after I swatch everything. Um, next we have Unicorn. Let's see. We have Raven.
We have vitamin C. We have sand. We have buff. We have spice. Kiss, kiss. And then finally we have Coco. So that is all 12 colors. Just clean the brush there. That is all 12 colors in the actual palette. And they pretty much look like the cakes. Um, they all swatched pretty well. Um, it didn't take a lot of water to get them going. As you can see, the color is very opaque. Um, even that white is opaque. Um, so I'll probably insert a picture of what they look like when they're dried. Um, but I, I think that's pretty good. So... Um, my first thoughts, um, I'm glad that they said it includes three primaries and then um, especially select a set of colors. And the reason I say that is this is the neutral palette and at first glance that red and that blue kind of don't match everything else that's going on here. Um, but, you know, they're there to kind of balance. They're there if you want to mix some other colors with these these um, neutral colors you can kind of darken things lighten things you know take things in different directions so I understand why you know Apple and Blueberry there along with the Raven so that you can do some other things um, I do think it is a very neutral palette you, you're definitely getting a nice variety of browns here especially for 12 colors um, so I have no problem with that. That's not a con for me. I think that's actually a good thing that they threw those um, two colors in there because it gives you something to play with in the palette. Um, I would probably say this is not a complete palette, you know, but again, it's it's a little 12 pack that you throw in your bag. Um, you're not looking to do something super colorful. You're looking to do something very particular. Um, so I think that's appropriate. I would probably say my major criticism for this, and for some people it might be a minor criticism, but for me, it was a big deal. Um, I've already thrown the wrappers away. Um, you may have noticed when I first opened um, the 10, all the um, cakes had a wrapper with um, a little face like this and the color name. When you take those wrappers off, the cakes do not have color names on them. So that means if you ever want to take these colors out and kind of use them somewhere else, um, like maybe you want to make your own mini palette, you want to pull things out and put them in, in, in a little palette so that you can work, it's like you're not going to know what those colors are. Um, that might not be a big deal for some people. Um, for me, it could be a big deal because if I pulled out three things and I was just using it for a project, now I got to remember what order they're in so I know 
this is mango, not vitamin C. This is spice, not kiss, kiss, kiss. Um, and to me, that that was like a little thing. Um, they could have done. I mean, my large Artistro um, watercolor palette has the numbers on the bottom, so I could at least reference that if I want to put the things back into the case. Um, so, like to me, that's a major thing. I. I'm very big on the names on the packaging. I just think it helps because most of us don't sit down and knock out a project in a day. Sometimes we come back to things. Also, sometimes you might want to come back to something. You'd be like, yeah, I want to use that color I used in the other thing. I use mango. You know, now you don't know which one is mango. I'm just saying, it's, it's something I'm particular about. You might not care. You might say this is a cute little palette for what I paid for. It. I'll put it here because I got it on sale. Um, you might say it's not that big a deal, but like that's something that bothers me. And like I said, looking at the Jane Davenport stuff, I said this in my last video about the chilled pastel palette. There's some execution issues here and and how it was packaged. And I don't know how much of that was just the manufacturer wasn't thinking about it i don't know um so that that would be my only issue other than that i think the quality of the paints um was fine if they if i find the other little palettes um i would pick them up because i i think this is a cute little thing to carry with you um i used to travel a lot for work this would be nice for like a train ride or on a plane on the plane this would be nice something to take with you on vacation if you just wanted to have a quiet moment to paint a little bit and not have to carry something big and bulky i think this is a nice size for that i think it's also a nice size for maybe a younger artist um if you wanted to invest in some better quality cakes that they could play with um just to kind of work on their skills like I, i've mentioned in other videos my daughter is a watercolorist she would enjoy this she would like the colors so um, I, I think it's a nice little little set. I think it's nice for what it is. And like I said, I got it on sale and I got it for a good price. So I'm not going to um, beat it up too much about the names. Um, other than that, um, I think that's about all for this little palette. I'll probably tape these swatches in the top of the tin just so that I have them ready, readily available. I'm going to let them dry first. I'm actually let the case dry too before I actually close this up. Um, and I'll take a picture of it after it dries and kind of insert that in the end of the video or somewhere here. Probably here. Um, other than that, as always, thank you for spending some time with me today. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.